Hi friends, Kiela here. Uh, today I want, well first of all, I hope you are all having or have had a fantastic week. Um, we are, it's Friday and we're approaching the end of a week and I have to say it's just been marvelous and most of it is just what's going on up here. And on that note, I wanted to share something, um, an experience I just had. There's so many lessons uh, when it comes to mindset work personal responsibility and really all of the tools, but that's what's on the brain for me right now uh, today is the concept of personal responsibility. Um, it came up earlier today in uh, one of my coaching calls with a client uh, and we had a great conversation about it. It's come up with many people before, both myself personally with my coaches and mentors, as well as uh, with the people that I mentor and coach. So. Here's where uh, it just came up this afternoon. Um, I'm, I'm looking at my laptop here to remind myself of what specifically I wanted to let you know. It's really interesting because it's almost meta, this conversation that I ended up having because in one of my um, uh, attorney mom groups, the um, you know somebody had posted about and she asked the question, am I being sensitive? And uh, basically just goes into a, uh, an explanation of something that had happened where somebody said something that was potentially rude. Um, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily disagree that the comment um, in question, she's talking about a man who said something that uh, could be seen as, um, uh, I guess, insulting to spouses. He didn't use the term wife. Um, and she, she found it offensive. And she's asking in this other group, um, am I being... And I guess, you know, implicitly overly sensitive. Am I, am I being sensitive? And so she, she talks about that and it got a lot of response. Um, she posted that yesterday afternoon and it's gotten, you know, 52 comments. And, um, you know, I did decide to weigh in. I often do when it comes to something like this. And, and here's why, because I don't really have an opinion as to whether or not she's being sensitive. I feel like that would be judgmental for me to say, ah, you're being overly sensitive because that's not really the point. I also don't really have an opinion about whether or not the comment from this guy was rude, offensive, insulting to women or spouses generally. Um, it, and here's why. It doesn't really matter. My perspective is it doesn't really matter what he's thinking. And a lot of the speculation that, that ensued in this, um, this conversation, you know, in the group really had to do with, you know, what this guy's thinking, where he's coming from and so forth. And you know, my perspective on this kind of thing is um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's assume that the comment was objectively rude, objectively offensive, um, and that it's bad behavior on the part of the person that we're talking about, the comment that we're talking about. Um, my point is actually different. I'm not going to speculate you know, as to what uh, this man was thinking, where he was coming from, you know, whether um, it really any of that. My point is this, you can react that way. You can say, oh my God, he's rude. What was he thinking? Why? And go down this long rabbit trail of trying to figure out what he's thinking and being so offended, hurt, whatever the negative feeling that you're having is. Okay. But you don't actually have to. This is about personal responsibility. And people often get offended by that term itself when you use the term personal responsibility as though we're talking about blame. Okay. And I'm not talking about blame. In fact, I'm very specifically not assigning to blame to anybody. I'm saying, you know what? His behavior might be objectively rude, condescending, offensive, toxic, whatever it is. Decent chance it is. I really don't know. I wasn't there. I'm not in his head. You know, sure. Why not? Let's just call it ob objectively rude and toxic. Um, that's a that's something aside from what I'm trying to point out, and that's this. What a lot of people don't realize is that their emotional response, the negative feelings that they have when somebody says something that's rude, that's obnoxious, that um, is is judgmental, is racist, is uh, sexist, is you know whatever it is, that feeling that you have inside you can actually learn to um, react differently from an emotional level where it doesn't have to affect your experience, right? So what I'm getting at is how did the comment make you feel? Because if that comment made you feel shitty somehow, yucky, um, slimed, you know, whatever it is, then there's some work that you actually can do there to change your experience. And that's desirable because then you get to have a pleasant experience regardless of other people's bad behavior. 
Okay, so this is not about accepting blame for other people's behavior. This is not about me blaming the person who um, is having a negative reaction um, in response to, you know, I call it being triggered, is being triggered by somebody else's behavior. Um, rather, it's me saying, hey, guess what? You know, you actually don't have to, to, to let other people's bad behavior affect you this way. Um, I say this out of love for other people because I have learned how to change my experience. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect. You know, certainly, um, you know, I'll find myself feeling triggered. In other words, reacting uh, from an, a, a negative emotional place to something that someone says. But for me, it's it's become usually like a sign, a signal like, whoa, you know, I'm feeling triggered. There's some work I can do to become more emotionally invulnerable, frankly, because that's kind of the direction that you go. You never ever uh, you don't ever achieve perfection in this, but the more you practice the tools that, that that allow you to change your experience, the better you get at it. And actually, what's really cool is it increases your peace of mind. It increases um, you know you just feel better most of the time. And I know this from personal experience, you know. And I don't go around blaming myself for other people's behavior. It might be objectively bad, but I don't actually have to make that judgment anymore. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm pissed off about it. I recognize that I'm feeling emotionally triggered and that's what I work on because at the end of the day, shouldn't my efforts, my thoughts, you know, be about things that I can control that I can change, or at least that certainly makes for a better life. And that's my point here. And what was interesting is, and this is why I say it was meta is that my comment, um, you know, and I said, here's what I said. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what his intent is. What matters is how you're reacting, which affects the quality of the experiences you're having with people. Learning to not take things like this personally, even if they are objectively rude, will improve your life. What's going on is what's going on in someone else's mind is really not your business. What is your business is how you react to it. The good news is that you actually can decide how to experience things like, like this as you move through the world. Wouldn't it be better if you could simply be amused rather than offended or just neutral and unaffected? And here's the part that I am actually feeling amused by um, because another, another person responded uh, and said, wouldn't it be better if we could all take responsibility for making the world better instead of shaming the people who don't like mistreatment by subtly, subtly implying they have inadequate mental health. I mean, interesting, um, that she's projecting this particular concept into what I said, cause I'm not talking about mental health. Uh, this guy made a gendered insult, which actually wasn't true. The guy said something about spouses generally. Um, and many of the other, several of the other commenters, pointed that out that it, he could just as easily be talking about husbands um, anyway in public because he, ha he has been able to count on his asshole behavior being coddled and forgiven this woman didn't speak up because she knows that when she does she will be blamed for making trouble that's the problem here and the good news is that you can decide that your experiences like this will not be tolerated in your presence a lot of the rest of us have already cheers so it's just um really interesting the the response there because there's a lot of project projection going on uh and and then really I, I responded to it but basically just saying you know um uh it wasn't a gendered insult as other commenters pointed out he, he said spouse not wife but you're missing my point um you know as for shaming people that's that's not at all where i'm coming from it's unfortunate that you see it that way but that's your reality not mine and that's the point okay this is the bottom line here um, I could, again, this is an opportunity here when I draw this comment, clearly this person is having a negative, uh, reaction, you know, to my comment and, um, is being, you know, something there and it might be objectively rude, uh, uh, you know, condescending, whatever, you know, in other words, how she's reacting to my response and I could choose to get offended and we could get into a little commenting war and yet, is that really how I want to feel? Is that really how I want to spend my time? Is that worthy of my time, honestly? And it's not, and it's so not because I don't need to feel any particular way in response to the comments that other people make, right? That's the lesson here in all of these pieces, right? Like the original person does not need to feel offended personally, internally by this guy's comments, even if they were objectively rude, even if they were worse than what he actually said, um, it, it, she doesn't have to allow it to affect her that way. She can 
uh, learn to choose to uh, how to how to respond to uh, things like that. And then same thing with this other commenter. Uh, you know, it seems pretty clear that uh, you know something about my comment, the way she interpreted that, uh, offended her, pissed her off, you know, made her irritated. And and that emotional reaction that she's having, and again, she's choosing that response. I didn't create that response in her. And in fact, her interpretation of my comment is totally not where I was coming from, not what I said. Um, I think it's actually a stretch and it's probably a stretch based on, you know, her mind where she, where she goes with it, you know, what, what she's dealing with. In other words, it's, it's about her. It's really not about me. Um, and so recognizing that, you know, it's, it's actually pretty easy for me to, to look at her comment and go, wow, totally wasn't going there, but whatever, you know, I don't have to care. Honestly, I don't have to concern myself with what she's thinking and feeling because that's her responsibility. You know, what my responsibility is, is how I'm feeling, how I'm reacting. So that's my, um, my two cents for the day on the subject matter of personal responsibility. And I thought this was just a great um, opportunity to, to draw that out some. Um, it can be a really tricky topic to understand. But the main point, the really important thing to understand always is that personal responsibility is not about blame. It's not even about self-blame. Okay. It's not about saying that I am somehow responsible for somebody else's behavior. In fact, that's the point. I'm not responsible for their, their behavior or for what they're thinking. And the, the really liberating thing is I don't have to care what's going on in their head. It's not my responsibility. So that's all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk again soon. Bye.